Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. Many people in our viewing area suffered damage to their properties due to Wednesday night's severe storms. News 11's Ross McLeod uh, has visited Hickory in Newton County to see the damage there. He joins us now with more details in our team. So I'm in Newton County right now looking at some storm damage that happened from last night's severe storms. Now there were no injuries or deaths reported from the storms last night, but as you can tell right behind me that there is a massive tree down in this person's front yard. They also have some severe roof damage up and not too bad, but they have some roof missing and some shingles missing, but they also have a lot of debris in their yard from the storm blowing that around it was terrible it uh we kept we had like three tornado warnings for hickory yesterday and uh, my family all gathered and we went down to our storm cellar and then when this one came over we heard it i mean and we saw the trees they were, the pine trees around my house were bending almost to the ground and it was terrible and it was throwing pine needles like missiles they were hitting the windows and stuff and then um my son, who lives right down the road, Coach Chad Bond, uh, said he could hear it snapping trees, breaking the trees off as it came through. With storm damage comes storm cleanup, and the Newton County Emergency Management Agency was on the scene Thursday morning to make sure roads were clear and everyone was still safe. Well, today I'm out working on damage assessment. I have the weather service with me. They're trying to put down the track to the actual storm. Uh, and I'm trying to do damage assessments on all the residences that are damaged. Uh, and luckily most of the damages were just like shingles, uh, houses missing a few shingles, stuff like that. Now the roads are mostly open out in Newton County, but there were several roads that were flooded over and these roads are marked off with cones to make sure that drivers are aware of the conditions that are ahead. Reporting from Newton County, Ross McLeod, WTOK News 11.